Hello guys, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Physical Reading. Okay, so I woke up this morning and wanted to do a video. And like I said in the Aries through Gemini video, I was shuffling and I saw the Ten of Cups fall out. Out of my new deck from um, Los Fribo, I believe it's called the Minara Terry. It's a sexually motivated deck. So, um kind of pornographic in a little cute way, an Italian way, I believe. I think it's Italian, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys are the same deck and you know where it's from, but I bought the deck and the shop was telling me, like, man, um, I feel like, um, you need to come get this deck, because I had put my name on the reservation list and they kept telling me, like, don't let the deck go by, so I bought it. It was two in there and I got the last one. Well, she said I did, but... Okay, so basically, um, I'm doing marriage readings because we're talking about family, Ten of Cups. It could be, you don't have to be married, but you definitely have to have a family with someone that you're looking for. Um, you could be married to this person, but I'm going to say married because the Ten of Cups is a symbolization of being happy. Okay? I'm going to put the video right here. We're going to go over where we left off Cancer. What's next? We're going to get some love oracles popping for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're doing Venus today, too. Okay, Cancer, what is the message to you for your married ass? End of August. Okay. True love, here and now, and past life connections. Okay. So some of you guys are dealing with a true love relationship. Ooh. Here and now, you feel like your love partner is already a part of your life and past life connection. You feel like you met this person before. I don't see anything wrong with cancer reading. It's like the best one so far. Let's see what you love. For cancer, some of my Uh, Could be trials and tribulations. Could be religious love. Oh, shit. That snake's been coming up in here right in here. Could be having some issues with your true love. Maybe it's just something deceptive to you. Oh, with some money. So maybe you're having some issues with money. Let's see. Yeah, definitely see some issues with money. I'll get love there. I do see the a bunch of cards come out, but you know what? We're gonna put them back for now because they are like worried about it. Um, yeah, I see money problems here. Let's look at the here and now. Yeah, now. Answer. Oh, luck is coming to your side. So some of you guys are gonna have a lucky break, or this person is lucky to you. It comes out a woman could be lucky to you. Let's see here now. A woman could pay a lucky woman could pay a very especially for money. Oh yes. Um, yeah. I definitely see here someone accomplished. Okay, so you could feel like you could be can you could be dating a woman that is very accomplished and she's lucky to you and she's accomplished and you feel like this person you already know this person, they're, they're everything to you. Let's see what the past life connection is. Okay, so you guys were in love before, maybe five years ago. Um, or this person could be, again, family or deeply rooted. They're not going anywhere. And I got a friend that could be a companion. You're fighting with this person. You're fighting the urge to sleep with them. That's what I got. All right, so definitely here. I got a lot of cards on the board. Uh, maybe your true love, you you guys don't really agree on your faith or you're having many problems. Let's see. What is the snake in the cross? What is the snake in the cross? Okay, the queen of air. Someone that holds on to baggages or things that they can't let go of. You could have pissed someone off and they don't forgive you. Yeah, it's just it's a six of swords that could be uh, an hindrance to your, you know, progress. You're trying to move forward. And this person's like, you ain't going nowhere, motherfucker. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, these cards going to come out. Death and ten of swords. Um, maybe it's re this relationship is over because of betrayal. It's just dealing with Scorpio. Um, also a Gemini. I get that also. Sun and Gemini. But I definitely see here, um... Okay, yeah. I definitely see here um, you can't move on because you betrayed a woman. Hmm. Maybe you want to give her some money. 
but it comes with a red flag. Get that too. Here and now, what's going on here and now for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Got the Six of Cups of Ex Lover. Someone that you know. Definitely get that. Four of Cups. Oh, you're upset. You're emotionally bored. Maybe you want, uh, maybe you're bored with work or job or school or a relationship that's just finally building. Huh, interesting. Let's see, what's the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups doing here? What's the Six of Four? These emotions. The emotions are not as strong. You're bored. You're sore. You're overthinking a lot of things. You have the King of Air. You're thinking you're over compartmentalization. Um, Aquarius energy could be Gemini energy, definitely. Um, what is the path I think of Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The stars could be um, being in Aquarius. Um, justice. Uh, something is not right. So you you want a new beginning and you want to set something right. Um, things that you may feel that are unjust, they really are just because you were a shitty person if you were. Eight of Wands, um, you want to offer someone something, maybe a new beginning. Um, okay, anything else? Okay, Three of Cups, See, you want to you wanna be around like-minded for people, you're an emperor, could have areas in your chart. Um, you want to be someone's leader or you want to... The name of swords remind me of taking the sword and running with it, the truth, cutting through it with a knife, like, yes. Two, two of uh, fire. Yeah, you want, you want to be someone's opinion, or you want to, you want someone's opinion? You find the urge to have sex with someone, they're your friend. You want to hear their opinion, you want to. You want to be around this person, the emperor. They, they, you like their thought process. They can't say. All right, all right, all right. Let's look at Leo. Okay, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising. Is messages for the end of summer, end of summer, end of August. It's been in the summer. Interference, okay. What is that? It's straight up here and now. And this love, true love. Alright, same kind of cards is our cancer friends. Okay, true love. Some of you guys can be cuspered. True love, interference is here and now. Somebody is interfering with your relationship. Cancer. Who? What is the interference? Oops. Kids come out public places, okay, and a man, ooh, a man with children is an interference, maybe you have a child with this man you are married to, he's an interference, or maybe you have a baby with him, he's a, or the baby could be a, about a business venture too, because a baby doesn't necessarily have to be a baby, it could actually be about new beginnings or something small, so the interference is something small, or it's an actual fucking kid. Or is a kid in public with interference for um for Leo? The moon is about secrets. Things you would try to suppress. Being disconnected from your intuition. Yeah, someone, three of cups, disappointment, too much interaction, too much shit going on, someone not emotionally invested, someone not trying to be bothered. Um, the Emperor is about the Aries, could be doing with the Libra, reverse, but someone is very controlling or not controlling enough. Someone is trying to hide something. Mm. What's true love? Believe me. Secrets and, ooh. So it could be about an agreement to keep something private. Let's see. What else? Mm, maybe problems keeping something secret. All right, what's the here and now for us? Are we your friends? Snake. Train. And broken mirror. All right. Seems like it to me, the person that you think is already a part of your love life, that's a true love situation, ain't shit. Snake. They got problems and snakes. 
broken homes. They travel and bring more broken shit to you. You can't make a, a fucking full mirror with shards of glass that don't match. Unless you a, a fucking mason or some shit. Get the fuck out of here. You better walk away from this shit. What the fuck is true love? Yeah, page of wands. Yeah, a situation you gotta go back to and work on. Immaturity. Ooh, a title card. Eh, interesting. Could be about a contract. You can see that all the time I shuffled this deck. Four wands. Got stability, comfortability, a home. So yeah, it seems like you're fighting. Mm, somebody, just, somebody got secrets about baby. Here and now. Okay, so the four stories can be about a person, a situation that leaves you sick or drained. You feel like you have no more energy to get with. You just completely like, oh, you need to go to the hospital, bruh. Somebody's sick. Page of um, of Earth that could be about a child, and not King of Cups, someone that turns to addiction. So you're dealing with someone with an addiction. Scorpio could be dealing with Taurus. Reverse, the name of Earth is about any Earth sign person, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah, you. somebody is sick. Somebody is sick with addiction. Maybe they work with you. What's the page of principles? They give you a little bit for money every now and then. Yeah, two of wands. That's it. What's two of wands in the page of principles? Six of Cups, Scorpio, Nine of Cups, and ooh, okay, so somebody from somebody's ex wants some money, and they want they want it down. Seems like paternity to me. Maybe you'll get a reading. Maybe you'll get your fucking reading. All right, um, that situation applies, Leo. Come see me. Um. Let's see here. Um, let's look at Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Look at Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here and now. Virgo, Sun, Moon. Yeah, a lot of here and now. Somebody got some paternity issues, money issues. Okay. True love and soulmate, okay, a little better, like, kind of like cancer, okay, not bad, here and now, somebody you already know, true love, you feel very strongly about this person, and soulmate, this person means a lot to you, they're very important to you, okay, okay, so yeah, I got a good energy overall, the pig and the see this person, bring home the bacon, and they leave your house comfortable, amen, hey, Virgo, you are the, you bring home the bacon. You do. All right, here and now. What's here and now for Virgo marriage? Here? Some are rising in Venus. Oh, put that back. Some are rising in Venus for Virgo. Oh. It's a message to say that. Ooh, someone is watching someone. Watching. Yes, they are. That's the death card. So someone is watching someone, spying on their, their sunshine. Someone that brings them light and warmth. They want to make a business contract, an agreement. I'll be in divorce. Oh, someone wants to take care of someone. A woman. Okay. So if you are a Virgo, woman or man you are trying to take care of somebody or you trying to be taken care of and someone is trying to be a sugar daddy can't put it no other way than that go ahead give me a virgo sugar daddy you know what i'm saying give me some money <laughs> bitch true love okay children maybe you want a child your work oh love this is the thing that virgo wants okay sound like a or a decent person, okay? Not bad, not bad. Now here, chicken sandwich for Popeyes I didn't eat yet, but I'm gonna eat. 
in an Obat way. If y'all had that sandwich, comment below and tell me how it was. I'm about to go to get it. You got a message. You want to pamper someone. Cat is about pampering. Okay. What's the soulmate connection? Ooh, okay. So you guys, an older man, someone that loves you a little distance, maybe, or they want to give you a lots of love. That's about the uh, ocean. It's about multitudes of love and encouragement. Okay. A man. Okay, obviously. So we got a man and a woman here. Damn. Okay. Instantly. Okay, so this man, you with ladies, you can have a man that's older than you, and he is wealthy. This is a generational wealth card. He is in love with you and wants to shower you and adorn you. Ooh, it's a love story. Oh, shit, I wish I was that bitch. <laughs> Somebody tell me if this, this read this for them. You comment, let me know, bitch. I want to know all the tea. But some man wants to hook up with you at rapid speed. Man, I'm sweating out here. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, here and now. Someone in a true love relationship. Ooh, somebody wants kids. Or they have kids this person, they have a job, they want to work with this person, they want to have accomplishments, roles, affection, love. Um, they want to send a letter and they want to adore someone. Send it, baby. Send it. <laughs> and then cheer it down. Um, watching someone. Someone is someone's sunshine. Someone's yes answer. They want to make an agreement to be someone's lion protector for a woman. Ooh, could be a woman protector. Could be with a Leo. Leo Sun Moon Rising. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's, what's, what's all this combination? It's, what's the eye for Virgo, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus? Nine of Cups. Somebody has a wish. Told you. What's the wish? Four of Swords. Oh, an argument. Somebody have taken some time out. Think about some shit. What about that? The Empress. Someone is thinking about the Empress. Ace of Wands, waiting for a better time. And the Five of Cups, being emotionally upset. Aww, so someone wants to wait. I wonder why. Why don't you go for them? I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of looking. I'm going to look into that. Let's go to True Love. Let's see. True Love. What is the child card here? Oh, okay. Maybe you have some child support issues. Not, maybe not right now. You don't want to invest in children. Okay, magician. Yeah, you have some child child support issues. Somebody. Yeah, you had a maybe a baby girl. You maybe you're not sure about the paternity. Why right, you don't want to invest? Power is about destruction. Magician could be about trickery. Ace of Cups about love. You know, two aces could be about a baby. Hmm. Not a baby lately. Uh, what's the rose in the letter? Seven of Cups. I'm tempted. Tempted. Tempted to touch. But they feel like they can't get it. Star reverse. Uh, what's, the le what's, the, what's the cat? What's the cat? What's the cat? What is the cat? Virgo. Eight of Wands. The illicit affair. Or not knowing if it's going to land. Eight of Cups. Spiritual journey. And Three of Cups. Cheating. So someone is... Um, they want to have an illicit affair with a spiritual worker, or maybe they want to have an illicit affair with someone that they're taking a spiritual journey from being, having an illicit affair or being all thrown off guard. They could be quick traveling. Maybe Three of Cups it reminds me um, of a third party situation where it's too much interaction. Okay, so let's see what the soulmate is about. Who's soulmate? Four of Wands, yeah, marriage. Might be married. King, Nine of Wands, about a move. Nine of Wands, about Sag. Be Sag. This is Pluto, judgment. So someone uh, wants to move in, but they feel it'll be a bad decision, or they, they can't face up to what they've done. Yeah, so a marriage, maybe bad decision. Let's see, what else? Why is judgment reversed? Okay, King of, oh shit, my favorite card, King of One. Someone has an addiction, they're looking in the mirror. They're looking at all the shit they done did, all the bad things they done did. 
judgment and saying they don't want to face up to it, but they do. They just face up to it with a bottle in their hand or some or some weed or some crack, you know. <laughs> Sad. The hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. You are a Virgo. Pisces energy, heavy. Punishment. You're not. You're not swinging. You're not changing. You're not. You're not deep. This person is not deep. Uh uh. Nah. You. You got too much shit going on. I see why you don't want to approach nobody. <laughs> All the money in the world. What's the? What's that? Why doesn't Virgo approach this person? Okay. Two cards. Yeah. Two of Wands. This can be about um, a decision a person makes or they're waiting for an accomplishment. Four of Cups. They're disappointed. Maybe they're dissatisfied. So maybe they're waiting for a good time. Let's see. Yeah, they left out in the cold. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, cancer. Leo. A Leo. A Libra. Aquarius. Gemini. The Aquarius heavy. Could be dealing with a Leo. But yeah, someone is left out in the cold and they're very angry about it. So, hmm. Okay, Virgo. Yeah, fix that shit. If you this is your situation, please hit me up for a reading. Um, someone made some bad decisions in their marriage. Trying to make up with his money or some other situation. Someone going to school too. Look at that. All right. Um, let's look at. Let's do. Let's do Libra. I got enough time for Libra. Let's do Libra and we'll end on Libra because we're gonna get to Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and uh. Aquarius and Pisces on the last one. Okay? So we're gonna do um we're gonna do Libra here. We're gonna do Libra. Okay, Libra, what are your messages for your marriage? Message for your marriage. Okay. Rekindle passion and support. Trying something you've never done before and leaning on your inner circle during this time. And forgiveness is about healing and moving forward some of you people are going through or trying to re make up with someone that you love you're leaning on your inner circle you're trying to go back to old things you were working at um you're trying to forgive people and move forward you're trying to live a very zen life in your marriage okay with rekindling passion okay you're not trying to rekindle anything not intensively i know i skipped over um Linderman, but i got a reason for it um, Linderman wasn't calling to me at this point. Usually, I would pick up a deck, but Spirit was like, mm -mm, straight to the point. Um, Knight of Pentacles is about an offer. Um, it's very, it's very undermined or very materialistic or low roadish. It's not a very good offer. What's Knight of Pentacles for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Okay. Someone is dating someone, but it's a, not a very good decision. Or someone wants to be upfront and honest about dating. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Earth sign, dealing with uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But someone does not want to rekindle anything with you. They make up their mind. They're honest with you. They want to date other people. Um, support. Damn, that's too much. Fuck that. Support for Libra Sun Moon Rising. Oh. Okay, King of Cups, someone could be dealing with addiction. Dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio with a lot of addictions. Um, the King of Fire, because they could have two personalities, um, or they could be leaning on a man. On their in their public face, they are the attractive, they're powerful, they own their energy, but in reverse uh, and behind closed doors, they're very mm -mm, they got some, some some shit going on. They're very toxic. Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Their situation ain't getting no better. Forgiveness. Libra, so I'm arriving. Two of Pentacles, yes. Yeah, someone is definitely um, not trying to invest. They're overly concerned with money. Or um, Two of Pentacles, so what's not, again, not, they're not trying to invest. They back out. Ace of Swords, they heard the truth from a hermit, could be a spiritual worker. Five of Pentacles, they're coming out of some type of uh, situation. Uh, title card could be done with a paperwork card. So forgiveness is um yeah, two of pentacles about a person who um they're very concerned about money or they don't want to invest in you anymore. They back out. Um Ace of, they got some type of truth in Ace of Swords, some type of clarity or breakthrough. Hermit is about a Virgo. 
someone that is wiser than them and told them what's up, they five of pentacles, they got themselves out of a situation by themselves. And the title was about what's the title card doing there? What's the title card doing there? Magician. Ooh, some secrets. It could be restraining or a six of swords. Maybe um they want to put a restraining order on you. Definitely. Someone is putting a restraining order out. Six of Swords about interference is someone that wants to get the fuck away. They can't. And the magician is about secrets and lies and duplicity. Someone um could be uh this is Mercury, could be how was I gonna say? Yeah, it could be a um Virgo or a Gemini or a Pisces or um, a Sag. But someone definitely put a restraining order out. Aquarius, yeah, this is definitely a restraining What's the Six of Swords and the Magician? Right. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the Priest. So this could be Scorp uh, Scorpio, but someone is doing something very deceptive. The hero fin is about um, religious control, uh, an organization that's very pious or very um, deceptive. Um, seven of Swords about getting caught. So um, maybe you got caught gossiping, because Seven of Swords gossiping, you Aquarius gossiping, lying, betraying. You definitely want to get away from this person, and you want to put paperwork between you guys. Ouch. Okay? That's why spirits say go straight to the point. There was no sense in breaking out that other card. That other card for you guys. Okay. Now, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be uploading the rest. And don't forget, Scorpio through Pisces, I ain't done. I'm going to get to y'all. I'm going to cool off. Give me some Popeyes, and I'll tell you how I went. And they will do your video next. Bye, y'all.